Indigo, you like your scratches. Hmm. You like your scratches. You're a sweet goat. The vision for this place is really coming together. Yesterday we were able to do about half of these support braces. We'll get the other half done today and then start stretching the fence itself. These first two sections will follow along with the string since it's a pretty steep slope as well. And then the rest of these should be just step up and step down parallel braces. I've got an idea that probably could have helped us yesterday for figuring out some of these tricky angles. Put a rubber band right on the end of this so once we have it set up with the string we can just find the right angle here and then draw our line at an at our leisure to get that just right okay that's pretty pretty accurate pretty accurate okay yeah because the continuous sloping line of horizontal braces following the contour of the ground looks so good we decided to go ahead and continue installing them that way rather than going with that stair step look that I thought we were going to. The last horizontal piece is going in. We're reinforcing the corners and the edges of gates with this diagonal wire. It'll be twisted to create a very high tension and that will distribute the support among both of the posts and increase its stability. Look at this. Isn't that nice how they've tied that rebar back to itself? Keeps it out of the way. Very professional looking. Indigo, you like your scratches. Hmm. You like your scratches. You're a sweet goat. All of the pressure we put this section of the fence under trying to squeeze the fence back up to straight has taken a toll. We have toenailed in a big uh, screw to hold that better. I didn't get any video at the time of reinforcing this small section, but the interesting part was how we held the post together before adding the screws. I've got a long clamp that was easy enough to just set over the posts and tighten them together. 
This one is now pulled a little gap. To get them to come together to put that screw in, my biggest clamp is not quite big enough. So we're gonna use a rope, and I'm not sure uh, either the clamp or some sort of a winch system to squeeze them together and then screw it together. To tighten this up, we're gonna just twist it. That shortens the rope, squeezes everything together. It's nice and tight there. Yep. Is this perfect? And that looks good there. I think we're good. With as much trouble as we have had with this fence corner right here, we've decided to go ahead and break out some of this concrete from around the 4x4, and we're going to pour new concrete. That should help reinforce it. Maybe that'll keep it in place. Turn the corner wrong. Starting Thank you. here. Okay, perfect. So the plan is to start with the longest section so we can use what we have existing. Hopefully this will be enough without making any splices in the middle. And then we'll know if we need to buy more just based on how much of it's left if we do have anything left. We're gonna strip back some of the links here, so we'll just have straight pieces that will wrap around the post and twist on itself just to give it a nice, just to give it a nice clean look. So we got this one? Yeah, we can cut that. Okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nicer than just cutting it. The attention to detail is just wonderful with this crew. Look at how specific this, this little system he's got here is. Rather than just shave it off, he's got them twisted back on themselves and tied off to each other. To pull the fence tight, we've got this fence puller. I'm not sure what, it, what it's called. What is this thing called? The I'm not sure what it's yeah, called. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we've got it hooked around a bar so it's not going to bend the fence. Got it tied to a winch. And we're just going to pull it, pull it nice and tight. Watching the bottom here. So we've got, maybe we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will help keep the fence a little tighter to the ground. To pull it tight all the way to the corner, since we don't have another post over here to tie off to, we're going all the way through the woods. To a convenient tree. We've got a lot of trees to work with out here, so that works pretty well. This is how far we got with the fence. I had hoped that we'd actually finish it today, but I am happy with how tight the fence is against the posts as well as against the ground. Today is Friday and the crew isn't available to come out and help us again until Tuesday. It won't be the same guys this time, but I'll be able to show how well this part is done so they'll know exactly how to proceed to make it look just as good. We're a little disappointed that we've had to confine our goats for so long.
but at least they have the consolation of having all these branches to eat. This pile of branches continues to shrink. We will have more firewood for dad. If you're curious about this roll bin, I've been putting small, gnarly, but still burnable pieces in here. This stuff won't really chip and shred in my machine. It would just jam it up. I've already got way too much yard debris waste to just put it out with the recycling. And I'm not gonna ask dad to take this kind of material. So we'll be burning this stuff ourselves in our own fire pit. The vision for this place is really coming together. It's hard to believe that we started off with this dog kennel and just plastic panels zip tied to the side of it as the shelter for our goats. With as nicely as this space is looking, this is now going to be an eyesore. So we're gonna move it somewhere else. I've already thrown away the plastic tarp that was the roof for this structure. It never really worked quite perfectly. If we do end up using this as another animal shelter, we'll probably just get another roof covering for it.
get this last section nice and tight. We don't really have anything that way to pull against. Let me go around so you can see better. So they've hooked up the fence puller around the post and are pulling it back to the post to get it nice and tight for us. It's very important when you're doing a fence for animals that the wire part of the fence be mounted on the inside of the fence. So as the goats in our case are rubbing up against it, they're pushing the staples towards the fence, not the other way around where they could actually eventually pull those staples right out. Well, in this little short section, we've got two insides out here in the main area and in here where we potentially will be able to segregate goats. So to make this work, we're just gonna do one continuous loop of fence with the strands kind of twisted together so they look nice. The guys are just about ready to take a lunch so we'll probably do that after, after lunch. So we're trying to guesstimate how much fence we have left on that roll and it looks like we'll have enough for the next long section. So we're gonna do that next and then see if we have enough for the shorter parts later. It might be close. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to finish it with what we have on hand. So this is how much we have left. This fence went farther than I thought it would, but it's still not quite enough to finish the job. Now that this is done and they've had a chance to trim off that extra and completely unravel what we had, it looks like we'll just barely have enough to finish the fence if we don't do that double wrap around the inside part. It'll be fine. We're not planning on keeping goats on that small side very often. So we'll just put the fence on the inside of the main enclosure and we'll call that good. So they are done for the day. We've got the last part of the fence on. Feels great. We can't let the goats out yet. I still have a couple of gates to hang. Wendy did let the goats out before I could hang those gates. We just tied the cattle panels that were on the sides of their temporary deck enclosure across the gate openings. Hanging a gate is pretty straightforward. I've done it a number of times. I think I'll make how to hang a gate its own separate video. Thanks for watching. As usual, click the thumbs up if you like what we're doing or our little icon to subscribe to our channel.